We just got through with our second annual Gulf Coast Homesteaders Meetup 2022, and we had a blast. So Rachel, how do you think it went? I think the event was awesome. It turned out really well. Uh, we had lots of great speakers, lots of great teachers. So many people in the community came out. We had people come from all over. We actually had a couple who came from Canada. It's amazing. Uh, a lot of great classes, a lot of fellowship. We just had a really, really great time. And we want to thank all of our speakers and all of, their, of our teachers for their time, their effort that they put in to make this event awesome. We really appreciate everybody that came out and helped us set up for the event, all of our volunteers. We thank you very, very much because you guys helped make this be a great event. Miss Macy, how do you think it went? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? I sold bracelets. You sold bracelets? And, and you got to play with Mary Carl from Cog Hill. Mm -hmm. You got to play with Houston mm -hmm. from Arms. You guys played all afternoon. You had a great time. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep, and you also ran around with Miss Amber from Hidden Oaks, mm -hmm. and y'all got your face painted. Yeah. Yep. All right, I also want to put out a huge thank you to the San Rosa County Agriplex. That was a great venue to have our event. It had everything that we needed. And if you guys or anyone that you know are looking to have any type of event, hit up the San Rosa County. Make sure you watch to the end and see all the great photos. Stephen Hyman with Crazy Lizzie's Goat Farm took. He is an amazing photographer and he comes out every year for us and takes great photos of vendors, people just in the crowd, speakers, teachers, you guys. He is awesome. Thank you, Stephen. And thank you, everybody. Enjoy the video. Till next year. All right, are y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready to perform now, Jake? Okay. All right, here we go. What do you call it when cows spy on each other? Anybody? Anybody? I don't, I don't know <laughs> what you said. Oh, no, this is really good. Okay. <laughs> okay, I should have told Jacqueline the answer so she could. Okay, here we go. It's a steak cow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sold our little farm that we were on, and we were in the transition of moving from our small original farm where we started it all to a much bigger place that was a clean slate. And we were under a lot of stress this time last year <laughs> because we went from when we sold our farm. It was supposed to be like a three or four month, maybe even a six month transition. I think everybody got interested in survival gardening for about six months, right? 2020. I get all these panicked emails. Uh, we're going to die. I, I, uh, I, I'm at home. I have always worked as an accountant. And uh, something's reading my letters. Just hold out the Y and say Ryan, uh, and hopefully that'll help you to pronounce it. Uh, but people call me Pork Ryan, the Pork Evangelist. Uh, I go across the country as well as overseas to exotic places like Uganda and Tanzania uh, to teach people. Okay, so um, before I get started, I am Josh. This is Jordan. Uh, we 
we are working on this homestead. So we do a bunch of different things in our homestead, um, from obviously budgeting to raising Australian shepherds to um, we have a 4,000 square foot garden. And we important that it's not cold because that's what helps activate your yeast. Even if you're using sourdough, it's good to have your liquid at the right bread. That was so confusing to me. You know, why you're putting all this different stuff in and, and everything. Um, so, and your liquid, which... And see, just so happens, we're staying down there in the camp. <laughs> if this makes it to the crock pot tonight, tomorrow we'll be eating barbecue. Yeah, you gotta have some of that dusty goat barbecue That's sauce. Exactly right, dusty goat. We got you. Some. Me, made me some homemade barbecue sauce. For back in the day when you guys first started, were you doing it by hand? I've always had the tumble. Yeah. Well, you have not. Yeah, we we just scanned ours before we got the the plugger. Thank you.